Hello friends, in today's video, we will be talking about surface hardening processes. I am Dr. Vaseem Sheik. So let us start. There are many different types of surface hardening processes like carburizing, nitriding, cyaniding, flame hardening and induction hardening. But in today's video, we will be only talking about carburizing, nitriding and cyaniding. In the upcoming videos which you will see on my channel, we will talk more about flame hardening and induction hardening. Let us start with carburizing. So carburizing is nothing but case hardening of steel with carbon. Here steel is introduced in a carbon rich environment at an elevated temperature in a furnace for a certain amount of time. After that it is quenched so that the carbon is locked inside the material. Carburizing is a diffusion control process that means atoms are migrating from one place to another. Also one important point you want to note here is longer the time you are holding the material in the carbon rich environment greater the penetration and higher the carbon content. During carburizing process the source of the carbon can be solid, liquid or gaseous. Talking about solid source or solid carburizing here we can also call it pack carburizing. Here we are packing low carbon steel parts with carbonaceous material. So in this image you have steel and you have a source of carbonaceous material and carbon is infusing in steel. It is going and sitting in the interstitial sites and whenever you are applying any deformation after the carburizing is taking place and you are trying to deform a material or doing plastic deformation or applying stress these carbon atoms which are sitting in the interstitial site will act as a barrier and they won't allow the plastic deformation to happen. So mainly because of their size they will go and sit in the interstitial sites and basically they will lock the entire thing and create a barrier for the movement of the dislocation or the plastic deformation. So here is the cycle of carburizing. Here you are heating the steel to a certain temperature mainly above 900 degrees centigrade where you are going in the austenite phase. There you are holding the sample for certain amount of time and then it will give you around 1 millimeter of thickness then you are quenching it. So after quenching you go for tempering heat treatment here all the stresses will be relieved. The whole cycle of carburizing can take about 8 hours or so. For liquid carburizing you have a molten carbon bath where you are keeping the sample in this bath for certain amount of time. This bath is generally a metal cyanide which is a source of carbon and because of the elevated temperature you have the diffusion which is happening and the atoms are migrating into the steel sample and then you are forming a layer of case hardening through liquid. In case of gaseous carburizing here the source of carbon is methane gas where you are passing this gas in a furnace and you are keeping the sample inside the furnace and then this gas will infuse in the surface of the steel giving you a very good layer of carbon content and making it case hardened. Now case hardening is mostly done in the cases where you just want the case to be hardened. You don't want the entire material throughout the bulk to be hardened. For that we have separate heat treatments. But case hardening, surface hardening which we are talking about will only give the surface a certain amount of hardness because of these carbonaceous material which we are introducing on its surface. Next surface treatment method is nitriding. Here by the name we are sure that nitrogen gas is introduced into the surface of the steel and we are heating and holding the sample at a certain elevated temperature. Nitrides are going to form here in the surface of the material. We don't need any quenching and by doing nitriding we are getting extreme high hardness and corrosion resistance. The only disadvantage here is the cycle time is very high. It takes about 40 to 100 hours of time for doing the entire nitriding cycle. Next surface treatment is cyaniding. Here in cyaniding we are introducing carbon and nitrogen together on the surface of the sample. Here it is in contact with this molten cyanide which will give carbon and nitrogen both together. Carbides and nitrides are formed. After doing cyaniding we have to rinse the part thoroughly because in cyaniding we are using cyanides which are poisonous. In cyaniding we get very thin and hard surface on the steel and the thickness is probably around 0.5 to 0.75 millimeter 
and the thickness is very harder it is harder than carburizing the process is completed in about 20 to 30 minutes so it is very quick so you can see carburizing takes 8 hours then nitriding takes about 40 hours minimum and here cyaniding is taking place within 20 to 30 minutes but here the only disadvantage is that cyaniding is poisonous you are using cyanides which is poisonous so the people who are working around cyaniding process they have to be very careful or else it is harmful so let us recap today we were talking about surface hardening and in surface hardening we saw carburizing nitriding and cyaniding in carburizing we are using carbon source in nitriding we are using nitrogen in cyaniding we are using both carbon and nitrogen surface treatment means we are just trying to harden the surface of the sample we don't want to do a complete heat treatment where we are heating soaking and cooling the material and the entire sample is getting certain hardness or phase no it's not like that we just want to case harden the steel we want to case harden the sample we want to give it certain type of hardness on the skin one example which i can give here is the gear so gears when they are meshing we just want the surface of the gear to be harder because they are in constant contact with the gear mechanism so the surface of the gear generally we are doing case hardening of the surface of the gear to make the gear very strong on the surface and also we want to make them corrosion resistance wear resistance where all these techniques like carburizing nitriding will give us a case hardening on the surface where the gears are touching together so that was a brief about surface treatment methods thanks for watching